Hello, I'm Dr. Shoshana Garfield, and today you are going to find out how to create your very own personalized step-by-step -step game plan on how to clear all the emotional garbage out of your life. It may sound too, too good to be true, and I assure you it is true, because I've done it, and I tell you that it works. So here's what it is. Where you need to start is to write down, whether you type it out or get a special book and you write down everything that happened to you that still bothers you. And that could be events, it could be a series of events. If you ask yourself the question, if there were something in my life I would like to have missed, what would it be? All those kinds of questions. Uh, what do I still kind of uh, get uh, up about? That kind of stuff. So that's one set of things that go on your list. The other is, who do I dislike? Who am I upset with? And to write all those names down as well. And the other thing as well is, what habits or behaviors do I have that I would like to change? Whether it's eating too much or eating too little, not exercising enough, exercising too much, um, relationship patterns, put those issues on the list too. And what you've done is you've created what Gary Craig calls your own, you're on the first step of the personal peace procedure that Gary Craig recommends. And like I said, I've done it, I know it works. And what you do is you learn whatever technique works. One that I very, very strongly recommend is emotional freedom technique. That's the tapping thing that I do sometimes, and that was formed by Gary Craig. There are lots of different ways to learning that taking courses, or even ordering my own DVD set, which has recently been released. And you commit to it. You commit to clearing your list. And what you do is you make time every day. And by every day, let yourself have off one day a week, but pretty much every day, five to six days a week. And you, you start at the top, and you, you do your tapping, or whatever it is that you do. And then if it's not done, it's not crossed out. And if other memories come up or other issues come up or other feelings come up as a result of doing the work that you've done on the first bit, add it on to the bottom of the list. And you just keep going off. You keep on chunking down from the top of the list. You pick one, you, f you keep on working that one till it's done, cross it off, go to the next one, and work your way down. Now, there's something really beautiful that happens here. What I did was I did this for six months and it was six to seven days a week. I was kind of hardcore with it. And sometimes my tapping would be would range from ha about half an hour a day, sometimes range up to two hours on a weekend. And what I found was after I got about two-thirds of the way down the list, and this was for me, it may be a different place for you, higher or lower on the list. When I got about two-thirds, I said, oh, uh, that's already taken care of. I don't feel anything with that anymore. Oh, that one as well. And I wound, the list wound up completing itself. It was the most amazing thing. And I literally couldn't think of anything, anything else in my life that bothered me. And then I was able to really turn my attention to looking at the things that I was doing in my life that I wanted to shift. And wow, <laughs> just wow. I can't tell you the words for how I felt that day I was looking over the list and realized it had completed itself. But there's something phenomenally magical about the way the healing and the clearing and the cleaning just kind of spreads all on its own. It's amazing. And if I could beg you, I'd beg you to do this. The, the benefits of your life are uncountable and priceless. So that's the basic personal peace procedure. So if this seems like it's too much work for you, think again. Think real hard about this. Because, first of all, we live in cultures where the quick fix is on offer. Like, buy this and feel better now. Except, of course, it doesn't work. Take this pill and feel better now. But, of course, it doesn't work. Drink and make it all go away. And you know that doesn't work. You might feel good for a few minutes, maybe even a couple of hours at most. But all the stuff is there waiting for you when you sober up and look at your visa bill or whatever it is. It's all there waiting for you. And it's really, what, what kind of life do you want to build for yourself? If you imagine that six months from now, you, coming here now and talking to you, which one do you want to come to say hello? 
Do you want the one that's still stuck, that's still overeating, that's still drinking, that's still in crap, crap relationships? Or do you want the one that says, wow, thank you so much, I am free. And that's what you have the power to create day by day with your efforts. It's so worth it. You are worth it because you are amazing. Amazing beyond your wildest dreams. So, like I said, if I could beg you, I would. Because I know, I know that this is worthwhile. And I know that you can do it. So, with heartfelt best wishes for you and your complete freedom. Bye for now.